Boise State University, student population of more than 22,000, with more than 200 degrees and certifications offered, is best known for its nationally ranked athletics programs. But what most people don't know about Boise State is the little white and brick building right across the street. I think institute. The institute. Institute. The institute is a place of religious instruction, and its purpose is to invite all to come unto Jesus Christ. A safe harbor uh, in a sea of a toil and turmoil and cares of the world. A place where young adults, 18 through 30, whether they're married or single, whether they're students or not, whether they're members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints or not, are invited to come and have religious education. Uh, there's something to do with uh, social here where there's events and food and activities and get-togethers. So Institute is really a place for both social and spiritual growth for young adults 18 to 30. Got in my car on a hot summer night Cherry leaves, big blue eyes, and put the seatbelt on. This is gonna be a crazy ride. Asked you where you wanted to go. Smiled at me and said, I didn't know. You said, I'm fine right here. That's what I wanna hear. I wanna, you and I, in a sleepless night. I wanna drive out of town. Turn out the lights, I wanna take it so for a minute or so and then All the activities that we have at the Institute are pretty much planned by the students themselves. We have uh, committees that meet every Friday morning and they have leadership training and then they plan the different uh, uh, events that go on at the Institute. They're involved with, uh, we have an enrollment committee that helps us enroll, we have a missionary committee that helps us promote missionary work, a communications committee that helps get the word out of all the events to not only to people on campus but as well as the people uh, in all the different wards. Um, we have a good times committee that prepares our activities and also the choir which uh, is heavily involved outside of just the Institute. They perform a, a few times every month as well, and so there's a lot of things besides just the traditional class that they can be involved in. favorite things about it has always been the friends and the support that I get and for a while I just came here for the friends because I didn't have a testimony but they eventually led me and supported me in gaining a testimony. The purpose of Institute is uh, to help youth and young adults understand and rely on the teachings and atonement of Jesus Christ and to qualify for the blessings of the temple and to prepare themselves and their families for eternal life with their Father in Heaven. That is the purpose of Institute. And what happened when I let go of that kind? Did it just go up and fly nope. free and into the moon? It went. Yeah, it, it went. <laughs> and it crashed. Ironically, what was holding up this kite? Tension. Tension. The string. How are commandments like string of a kite? How are commandments like the string of a kite? It keeps us grounded. Yes, it keeps us grounded. What's our tendency sometimes when we have commandments given to us? What do we feel like sometimes? Institute helps us teach and understand the doctrines of the, of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And uh, we do that through teaching scriptures and uh, the words of the prophets. And thereby we understand the doctrines and principles that we can uh, apply in our personal lives. Like when I first started reading scriptures, I was just 
like literally just reading them and not studying them. And I was looking for verses like Philippians 4.13 and like ones that say, God loves you and you have strength and everything will be all right rather than like studying the actual scriptures. Um, and that happened like, I'd say like in the past year, I started making that switch of studying. So probably the one that I'm in right now with Brother Thompson, Doctrine and Covenants, the first part. Um, because I'm actually paying attention to church history and how that affects like what guidance we're given and studying like, um, like I finally read the full thing of Joseph Smith history and I made like this huge outline and took forever, but I'm so glad that I did it because I, I totally understand like everything now and I can give you like sequential order of how things happened. And so once I did that, I can build on that with Brother Thompson's class. It has been a treat for me. One of the things about having this age group is you have some students that have been out of the church and out of religion and, and out of this routine for a decade that are looking to come back. And to see them come back to the Institute and get connected to their spiritual religious roots again and to make changes in their life is inspiring to see. Um, I've, had, uh, I've seen students that aren't members of this church that have made changes in their life and have even gotten baptized and have attended their baptisms. And to see them make promises at baptism to, um, to serve others and to uh, comfort those that need comfort and to make those kinds of promises and changes in their life is just so awesome to see. When we're of this age, when we're college age, we have such a unique and kind of easier opportunity to learn about the church because there is institute. Because it's totally casual and there's people in jeans and hoodies because that's all that I ever wear every day of my life. And I'm welcome here all the time. Um, we have tons of teachers who are so open to questions and we have college students here who are just doing their homework and then going to learn about the scriptures and then going to campus. And this is such a non-judgmental and open environment to ask questions and just to hang out and just like to feel the spirit. And there's so many different aspects of this building and you can like dive into every single one of them, and just feel safe. When I was a teenager, I was encouraged to read the Book of Mormon and I started reading it. And it was there that uh, I read the Book of Mormon and felt the spirit of the Book of Mormon. And I thought in my mind, Joseph Smith did not make this up. The Book of Mormon is really true. And I just had that Holy Ghost bear witness to me that the Book of Mormon is true. And when I knew the Book of Mormon is true, I knew that Joseph Smith was a prophet of God. And when I knew that was true, then I knew that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is God's church upon the earth.